would be golfers. We're all useless. You go out one day and you play absolutely awful golf. You go out the next day and you're a world beater. Is it actually the same at that highest level when it comes to confidence and just when a sure day, everything goes right? <clears throat> yeah, I mean, you know, something I've been in, I've been in the game so long, but I, I realise that the that, that the mind is such a fragile thing, and it's so in golf, it's so easy to get a bad knock. You know, like you can go out and you can play great golf, and that ball is just a matter of millimeters, but it doesn't go in the hole. Okay, and that's what we're talking about. I mean, you can't there's there's no legislating for that. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just and that's the way it is. You know, so and then another day, those millimeters just the other side, and all of a sudden you're shooting sixty four. I mean, I'll put it this way here, okay? If you take, you take, pay attention to this here. If you, the next time you see somebody shooting a sixty-three, a really low run, sixty-three or sixty-two, really, really low one, okay? You watch what they follow up with the next day. Very rarely do they break seventy. Very rarely. Now, you watch that, and it's not often that that, that you get somebody who even breaks seventy. You know, let alone shoot another low one. <laughs> So, you know, there's... You're talking figures I can read three more. Seven, three ends up in the front line <laughs> well, here, you know, when yeah. you're playing golf. You know, so it's just interesting that that happens. So the, the, the game is, more often than not, it's beating you up. And if you have the mindset that that's what it's going to do to me, then you're prepared for all the knocks that's going to come your way, you know. But it's inevitable. It's inevitable they're going to come. And it's inevitable. It's just, that's, what, that's the way the game is.